five thirteen in the morning. Our uh, hotel is overlooking the lake, but we're not putting in there today. We're gonna go ahead and fish in the James River today uh, because yesterday wasn't that good, honestly. We only had about three hours to fish and uh, didn't catch that many fish, honestly. Caught some dinkers and then uh, maybe lost a few nice ones, but nothing spectacular at all. Uh, like I said, just caught a couple little smallmouth. And that was about it for the night. I mean, granted, we only had first day out on the lake ever. Didn't really have any knowledge on where to go. We basically put in the ramp uh, where the hotel was and uh, went fishing just for a little bit. But today, hopefully we have a little bit better area to fish. Uh, I think that the area that we're going to may be a little bit better. I know the James River is a big player in this lake. So we're gonna go try that today. And that'll today will dictate what we do the rest, or at least tomorrow, so. We're gonna go ahead and do that, 5.15. Gets light probably around seven. So we gotta go put our stuff in the the boat. Already ate breakfast, Dan's out there eating, Dad's out there eating. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready for day number two at Table Rock. Alrighty guys, midday update right here. We've been struggling all morning for keeper bites. We've been getting little ones here and there. But we just pulled in his pocket and I got a nice one and Dan doubles up. And literally, you guys haven't missed much, missed much except a few, a few dinks. Look at that right there. Two keepers right there. You're just bleeding, you're just bleeding. Mine's bleeding. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get these fish back. Alrighty guys, here's the two fish me and Dan just doubled on. Uh, about the same size, one's a little bit bigger than the other. Uh, caught one on Ned Rig, one on Swim Bait, so we're gonna go ahead and let them go right here. Okay, everyone, sorry about the little chaotic fish catch right here, but basically, a little run down in the morning. Uh, we got out here and I didn't really set up the GoPro just because I want to get straight to fishing, but that'll change for the rest of the tournament. But uh, you know, this morning, it's like almost 11 right now. We have, we've just caught, two, or have, we have two keepers right now. The keeper length is 15 inches, so you know, it's a pretty solid fish to be a keeper. So we, we just caught our two keepers for the day. Uh, we're just seeing how many we can get today. Of course, this is just practice. Did double up on our first two bites, so that's pretty cool. What'd you catch yours on, Dan? I caught mine on this little 2.8 inch little Kai Tech yeah. on a little shaky head. So the moral of the story was finesse baits. I was using the little Ned Rig. Biggest fish I ever caught on Ned Rig. It's probably like two and a half, two and three quarter pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the GoPro now. Again, my apologies for the lack of footage. Thanks for watching. Where this this bank's getting steeper, have you noticed? Yeah. Look, he knows the kite that crowd. Look at him. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Bigger fish. Another big one. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. oh I see. That's a small leaf. Ooh. That's a keeper spotted bass. Look at that fatty. Oh. <laughs> That's a keeper spotted bass. That's why Dan wanted to come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pop's got his first good one on of the day. On the bait too. Yeah, baby, look at that fat old spot right there. Guess what I did? What'd you do? I bit off half that length of that worm. Yeah, like you bit off a <laughs> No, I really did. I so think. you're basically fishing a modified Ned Rig. Well, <laughs> no. Maybe it'll change up there. Chicken? Oh, yeah. Is that Ned? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh! Big mama. They fight so hard! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do? 
Double again. Man, I tell you, you got a double win? Is yours a keeper? No, a big one. Oh, mine came oh. on. Of course, my freaking came on. Oh. Oh. Man, is that dude a fighter or what? Yeah. Of course, mine. Dan had one on too. Choked on the old net. I actually had a. I caught like a nice spot earlier, but my GoPro wasn't filming. It was about. It was a keeper. It's probably 15 and a half inches, 16 inches. Uh, this is another keeper. See, I'm feeling a little bit good. Yesterday we fished for a little bit, and it honestly scared me. With we didn't catch any keepers yesterday. This morning kind of threw a fright in us too, and then we're starting to get a little bit nicer fish. You just have to grind for them, and we're starting to figure out where they're living. So there he is, right there. Ooh, Ooh. that's a bigger. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a Ned. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a snapper. Yeah. Don't touch the trolling mode. Hold on, Dan. I caught that one on the Ned rig in the deal color. And right off this fluff wall. Yeet. Oh my god! Oh, he looks like a four Boat flipper. Why do you look so big when you hook him? Wait, what's that's, that on? That's on the GoPro. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There you go, a little spot right there, nothing. Not a keeper, but just a little chunk. Ned rig again. Almost lost him, my line was frayed. Dan got hung in his cable and I went up there, get his bait out, and there's like this ladder right there, pitched over the cable. A little 13 inch spot.